Hi everyone, it's Father's Day and I'm out in my garden and I'm just going to cut some soap. I didn't show the making of video of this soap because I have shown it a few times so instead I'll just send, put a link in of another video where I show how I made this soap. Here's some flowers from my garden. There's some children out playing down the street. You can hear them giggling, having a good time. And over here in our yard is this character. Hi everyone, this is just a quick channel chat to let you know that I'm going to be away for three weeks and I, I will not have much access to the internet. However, I have done some research and discovered this cool way on YouTube to send you scheduled videos. So you will still have videos and they will still be out every Monday and a couple more. And what is coming up is oatmeal, milk and honey where I make it in two different ways, cold process and hot process. So that's kind of cool. So you can see it's the same recipe, they look different in the two different ways to make it. And what else do I have? I have old chocolate mint and cherry almond and shampoo. And I'm not gonna show the making of shampoo, but I have a video about my 10 reasons why you should use solid shampoo. So if I get comments and I'm not replying to you in the next few weeks, that's why. It's because I'm totally off the grid anyway. So that you enjoy and when I get back, I will be back with new soaps and going to totally refresh my Etsy shop and I'll see you on July. Hi everyone, today I'm going to cut these soaps here. This is, they're both goat milk soaps, loaves of soap and this is uh, patchouli with some nag champa. I did not have enough patchouli to make patchouli alone so I added a little bit of Neg Champa and I think I will just call it Neg Champa because it that fragrance really dominated it smells like Neg Champa and this is my best seller this is tea tree mint goat milk and it is my soap that is I have to make regularly it sells out so and I always make it sim very similar it's uh, no colors throughout and a bit of green topping to give you that mint, to give you that reminder that this has some, it's spearmint, tea tree and spearmint. So I like to cut my goat milk soaps using the crinkle cutter. However, I cut with it on its side, usually instead of lengthwise. Now, sometimes I do it the other way as well. And I just cut them quite fast. In the beginning, when I was just starting, I would get out a ruler and I would spend quite a long time measuring these and getting them perfect. And I found it's better if I just do it by sight and just cut fast. I get better sight. So this is now my goat milk nag champa. This is a huge, very generous bar of soap. I tell people if you find the bar of soap to be too big, you could just cut it in half. Maybe you could share it with someone. I have some customers that do that. They come and they pick out soap that they share. They go home and cut it all in half and they each get half, which is fun for them. They, it's a good friendship thing that they do together. And it's always, it's always fun when I see them at my booth. So I put one blue heart in this one. And this is a different color because this doesn't have the fragrance. The patchouli is a dark essential oil, so it makes the soap batter turn dark. And this is the exact same recipe, exact same batter without the fragrance. I hope that you enjoyed watching me cut my soaps today. I'll put links in the description box so you can see some videos of these soaps, similar soap being made because I've already made videos about these ones. And I hope that you take good care of yourself today for the rest of today and take care of those around you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.